gift me a girl, a tall blonde dame, and say, now look here, honey, I got a plan to change your name if it don't cost too much money. Oh. 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 Get it out of here. Take it right on. Oh. Keep it right oh. moving. Let him go. Get rid of him. Somebody introduce that dog face to a blonde or move that bandage down around his throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thanks I get for bringing the mail. Come on, crack out with it. Crack out with it. Break it out, will you? I hope there's one for my blonde. Uh, Tony, uh... Yeah? Nothing for you. Ah. Uh, hey, Sarge, one for you. Anything for Smith? Smith, yeah. Yeah, one from your draft board. Greetings from the President of the United States. Do you think I'm drafted again? <laughs> hey, gang, it's from Bob Martin. What does he say, Gimpy? Hey, is he back chasing wrestlers yet? No, he's on his way home, but listen to this. Here, Gimp and the bunch. Just a line or two from the train to tell you I'm almost back at the ranch. I can shut my eyes and see it waiting for me. A squat six-room rambling White House with a porch you can't see for the roses. A big corral, rolling hills, and a barn groaning with hay. My dad and sis, well, they're going to be tickled pink to see me. Sarge, there'll be enough fresh milk to swim in. And goodbye powdered eggs. Well, there goes the whistle. I'll mail this from the station only a few miles from by buckboard, and it's H-O-M-E. Home, Bob. You know, I'm sure glad Bob is back at the ranch. There's a guy that really needs a rest. Hey, ain't there anything about me? Yeah, there's a line down here at the bottom. Hey, let me see, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Tell Feet not to trip and break his neck, or he never will get out of the hospital. As Hank down at the general store, he's got two boys in. One's a second Louie, and the other's a mule skinner in India somewhere. Oh, sis, she's still got those freckles. Wesley's boy, John. <laughs> He's heard of cows half of his life, and he picks out the Navy. <laughs> Gee, just to get back on a horse. I bet Pop will kid the life out of me. <laughs> Hello! Here you are, Bobby. What's happened? Is Pop sick? Bob! Sis! Oh, Gee, it's oh, good it's to see you again. great to be again. home, sis. Let's look at our soldier. Oh, it's good to have you home again, son. It's great to be home, Pop, but what's happened to the place? Has there been any trouble? Your letters never mentioned anything. Has there been a drought? Oh, there's nothing the matter, son, that can't be mended. But uh, we'll talk about that after we've had some grub. Helen, tell Fatso to clean out the larder. This is going to be B-Day for the market. Okay, Pop. Will you stand and have a bite with the sheriff? I wish I could. The dead crew's in jail again, and I gotta go in and feed him. Well, thanks <laughs> a lot for the lift, Sheriff. That's all right. Well, so long. So long. Drop by and see us again. Yes, I will. You know, Bob. Sure. Took Uncle Sam to get him out from under my feet. Can we have a word with you, Mr. Martin? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure, Hank. Bob, how'd you like to go in the house and clean up, huh? Okay, Pop. I guess you know what we've got to say. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. There's nothing else we can do, Martin. But pay twice the wages of the oil well with half the work. Yeah, I know. You boys are in the saddle from daylight till dark. And you know they've been taking my men. You're the only one that stayed with me, Hank. Let's go. Come on, Hank. You don't owe him no apology. I'm sorry, Mark. That's the way it is. Say goodbye to Helen and Bob for me, won't you? So long, Hank. So long, Mark.
It's my cooking. Why, they're quitting. Sure. I've been expecting this for the last five years. I don't like it, sis. There's something wrong. I'm glad you're home, Bob. Pop needs your help now more than ever. But I don't get it, sis. What's this all about? Why doesn't somebody tell me what it is? Pop didn't want to spoil your homecoming. But, well, we've been having nothing but trouble. Boys are going to eat dinner in town. That's so, Pop? Yeah, that's what they said. Come on, get it off your chest, Pop. You know what sons are for. All right, I will. There goes the last of the Martin help. Maybe the last of the Martin Ranch. Oh, it can't be that serious. You'll find out sooner or later, so I might as well tell you. It's that Wildcat Oil outfit over the ridge. They've had their hooks in me for over a year. Now, if you're thinking of fighting, don't do it. You steal my help as fast as I can hire it. Hank stayed as long as he could. The help isn't the worst of it. I had to take them into court over a land dispute, and that cost money. Then their well came in, polluted all the streams, stock got sick, half of it died. What beef we have left's up on the North Range. If we don't get it rounded up and shipped pretty soon, we're, now we just about hit bottom. You don't think there might be some reason for them trying to run you off? Yes, we thought of that, too. Figured maybe perhaps there was oil on our land, too. But there isn't. We went to a lawyer over in town, Mr. Thatcher. He thought we had oil, too, and he sent for a geologist. They made a survey and found nothing. I don't know what we'd have done without Thatcher. He's kind of sweet on Helen here. Yeah, but she hasn't got any time for it. He's been very friendly, but that doesn't mean I have to marry him. <laughs> she still can't take a joke, can uh, she, Pop? Well, Fatso, what's for chow? Oh, I'm cooking a nice, great, bang, brown, juicy steak, but I can't get this darn fire hot enough. Why don't you try this? Yeah, that thing's no good. <laughs> you need more cow hands to bring your stock in. Is that what's bothering you, Pop? Well, it's not as simple as that, son. The stock is scattered to all tarnation, and that oil bunch knows it. And after the run-ins we've had, they'll do anything they can to stop us. What do you mean by that? Now, listen, son. You've had enough fighting for a while. I thought so, too, but... Changed my mind. Where's he going? I don't know for sure, honey. But I've got an idea he knows where to get some riders. That's quite all right, Pop. Thank you very much. Mr. Thatcher. Yes, what You'll is pardon it? me, but I've heard so much about you from Pop and Helen, I feel I already know you. Bob Martin, you're the soldier. Well, we're even. I've heard a lot about you, too. You're all Helen said you were. We'll have to have a talk sometime, but I'm in a terrible hurry right now. Everything's popping at once. Yes, I'll see you, won't I? I'll be around. Drop in at the ranch any time. Thanks, I'll pick you up on that. I'd like to send a telegram. Hey, I want to send a telegram. Oh, telegram. <laughs> that ought to bring him. It sure should. I say it sure should. Bring who? 
Could you send that right away, and how much will it be? Uh, it's... Hmm. Pick it. <laughs> Fools me every time. Three dollars. And 80 cents. Will it hold? It's about half full. All right. Hey, you. Did you see that sign down there, or can't you read? Yeah, I read it. You want around here? I want to see your boss. Better be good. Boss doesn't like snoopers around here. Hey, boss. This guy wants to see you. I'm Bob Martin, your neighbor. Bob Martin. I came up here to see if there isn't some way we can eliminate that oil flow into our stream. Oh, you're dead. You have to take that up with Mother Nature. It comes from underground. What do you expect us to do, mop it up with a sponge? <laughs> it didn't happen before you started drilling. Oh, you want us to stop, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> this fight? Oh, hello, Bob. Mr. Thatcher, what are you doing here? Representing your father's interests. We both came up here for the same reason, to try and settle things amicably. If it's a fight you want, Morris, you'll get it if we have to take this to every court in the state. All right, men, go on, get back to work. You can't ride in here that way, Bob, and expect to get anywhere. You'd better get back on that horse and let me handle this my way. You're going to stay here? They won't touch me. They wouldn't dare. I'll get out of here before there's real trouble. That guy's a regular one-man army. And he's got medals to show for it. Pretty smart, too. Might even decide to get a real geologist to go over his place. What do you want me to do? I can't just go bump him off. Maybe we're better. There's oil floating all over that ranch. Listen, boys, I want action. From now on, we're trying it my way. I gave old man Martin money to keep up his bank payments. Yeah, but he paid you back each time. The next time you're going to fix it so he can't. Then we're going to prove he didn't pay me anything. What about those receipts you gave Martin? That's where you come in. You'll get them if we have to burn his house down. Three more days. If you want me, address me Brooklyn, USA. Make mine, Maine. Maine? What part of Maine? Maine part of Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Hey, 
perfect three-point landing. Gimpy's leg, the motorcycle, and the back of your head. Hey, Gimpy! Hey, Gimpy! Hey, you lugs, listen to this. Hey, Gimpy! I had a telegram here for you, but I must have lost it. It's from Bob Martin, and he says, uh, trouble establishing beachhead. Looks like another Luzon. Uh-oh. Suggest you postpone vacation here. Sorry. Regards to the gang, Bob. Gee, that's too bad. Hey, where'd you get that? I picked your pocket when you ran over my leg. I wonder why Martin didn't ask us to come out and help him. Yeah, I wonder too. So it's an impossible job for just the two of us. It takes a lot of men for a roundup. Well, we've got one assistant we can count on. Ready to get rolling, Pop? Oh, well, just about, I guess. Say, why don't we put Fatso on a horse? No, sir, not me. I'm a range man, pure and simple, but not that kind of a range. <laughs> <laughs> what about that pinto Pop gave you? You rode it, didn't you? Once. I saddled that old burning hay grabber, and she headed straight for the barn. Broke a world's record. <laughs> <laughs> Son, you've got enough food loaded up here for an army. Well, Pop, you can't tell. If I do all the work, I'm going to get awful hungry. <laughs> To you. the way around the globe and we still can't get rid of them. This looks like some of your doings. Has the army taken over? Well, uh, well, I warned them not to come, Pop. Come here and meet these turkey necks. This is Smitty, Brooklyn, my friend Feet. Feet? Why, it's all feet if you ask me. Boys, this is my sister Helen, my Pop. Oh, yeah, I'm the cook fatso. Well, I'm certainly grateful. I hope you can be of help. Have you ever ridden a horse? Well, no, but I can learn pretty fast. I used to collect tickets on a merry-go-round at Coney Island. <laughs> I used to live next door to a riding academy. They'll be okay. We'll put them through Rancher's Boot Camp. Keep us out of the fight, will you? Yeah, where are those rustlers? Lead me to them. Well, you see, it's like uh, this. Just a minute, son. It isn't rustlers exactly. It's making a roundup against time. Though I will admit we've had a few skirmishes with a wildcat oil outfit. 
Wildcat's my middle name. Oh. Gimpy tried to come, too. Talked to every doc he could buttonhole. But they wouldn't let him come. You fellas don't know how welcome you are. I feel kind of guilty about bringing you up here, but Pop and the Martins were sort of up against it. And... That's not hard to figure. Well, I hoped you'd be here, and if you want to come around the side of the house where it's cool, why, I'll give you the briefing for tomorrow. <laughs> You wouldn't want to sell this, would you? No, sir. That's a first-class A number one government inspected army reject. Huh? Then I'll buy it. So that's the setup. The way it looks to me, they got all that beef stashed out in left field. All we got to do is go out and take it. It's not going to be as simple as that, boys. Can't be as tough as herd and Jap snipers. Looks like a sense to me. That's the mail plane. Remember old washing machine, Charlie? You used to come over every afternoon about this time. I did? Geronimo! 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 Geronimo? That's me! Geronimo! Could anybody direct me to the Martin Rancho? Gimpy, how'd you get up there? The shortcut. Come on, quit clowning. Come down out of there. He thinks that's the only way to travel. What are you, jump happy? Next time, try the train. It's my Sergeant Edwards. Gimpy, meet my sis and my pop. Hello? Don't just stand there. Get that poor man down out of there. Yes, yeah, someone get a ladder. Go get a ladder. Nice view from up here. I'll have to try it sometime. Come on, you daredevil. Uh, is this afraid we'll break him? Oh, poor boy. You must be insane jumping with a leg like that. I'm sorry, ma'am. We couldn't find a place to land. Oh, my back again. Oh, my poor back. Put your arm around me. Oh, farther, a little farther. There. Is that all right? Uh-huh. Insane. She called him insane. Yeah, crazy like a fox. Don't take him long. Get the silk! Can I have a spot of tea? Rob that. Not a thing. Oh! Oh, Geronimo! Ooh! Red. Oh! Morning, Pop. Oh, good morning, son. Seen any of the boys around? Yes, I got them out doing the chores. There goes one of them now. They're willing enough, but I don't think we'll be able to get any help out of them. Don't fool yourself, Dad. What if General MacArthur asked me around that stock up? Well, what would happen? Well, he'd get the job done. Oh. And she's as pretty a pinto as you've ever saw. I'm giving you a break and making the trade even. Well, I don't know. I figured I'd like one of those spotted ones. Spotted? What do you think she's got? 
I'll make a deal. On approval, I'll try it. It's a funny looking horse. Look at him long ears. Her mother was scared by a mule. But she's just as gentle as a kitten feet. Why even little kids that high can ride her? Let me try it. Now I know what you mean when you say kids that high could ride it. Fibber. Ah, this is it. Peace and quiet. You know, I've always dreamed of a ranch and a little woman sitting on the porch knitting. I'm not your little woman, and you'd better relax. Here, drink this down and shut your eyes and relax. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, Mr. Thatcher. Oh, Mr. Thatcher, this is Sergeant Edwards, Mr. Thatcher, our lawyer. How do you do? Hello there. Uh, he's convalescing. He was Bob's sergeant in the South Pacific. I see. And with you for a nurse, I'd trade places, bad leg and all. Not a chance. here. What's this? Why the army? They're boys from Bob's outfit. They're going to help with the roundup. A roundup? <laughs> In jeeps? Why not? What's wrong with that? What are you doing, son? Surely you're not going to try to round up cattle and those things. Well, you see, Dad, being a mechanized unit, we've got to stick to our tin horses. We'll bring them in if we have to put them in a back seat. And you'll probably scare the stock half to death, too. You want your cattle brought in, don't you? Yes. These jeeps will go any place a horse will, and a lot of places they can't. I'll believe that when I see it. All right, men. Let's get going. This is what you call post-war ranching, Mr. Thatcher. Craziest thing I ever saw, but good luck. Thatcher. Oh, I just stopped by. I was on my way to the office. Sorry, Helen. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Better take care of that leg, Sergeant. They come in handy sometimes. Thanks, I will. What's he so unhappy about? He's got good reason to be. He found somebody sitting with his best girl. Oh, Pop. <laughs>
course. I told you we'd have to hurry this job. The Martins have the army working for them now. The army? Yes, ex-soldiers, and they're headed for the North Range. That means you've got a free hand at the ranch. Now, get busy. Okay, if you want those receipts, we'll get them. You shall not work as a slave anymore at these menial tasks that exhaust with their labor. You shall be prosperous and happy with me in my magnificent palace of the Sing Song House. I... How do you expect me to go on and read when you annoy me that way? You know something? Now I really know what I was fighting for. Certainly. For our way of living and our freedom. Uh-uh. For a pug nose like yours. Oh, no, stop. Sit down, Hank, and tell me about it. Marty, that oil outfit's heading here, and they mean business. What do they want with us? I'm going to tell you they're a bunch of cutthroats, and they're out to get you. I tried to quit, but they wouldn't let me. They messed me all around. They threw me out of a car the other side of town. Here they come now. If it's trouble they want, don't be a fool. That's the opening they're looking for. What? I told you not to do that. Look, Morris. Here's a double crosser. We told you to get out of town. What kind of a high-handed way is this? Shut up, or you'll get it too. All right, men. Search the place.
M P Y. Gibby's in trouble at the ranch. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> down the hill, and we get down the bottom, we'll fan out. Okay, let's go. Two waters. Yeah, what'd you find? You want any of this stuff? Let's see. Yeah, here's what we want. Come on, let's get going. and plenty tough. We'll have to spread out and surprise them. Let's go. Making a mistake, Morris. Take him away. You'll never get away with this. Bob and his friends will be after you like they were those dirty chaps. Tell your brother and his friends to drop in on me anytime.
for you, boys. All right, come on. Take him away. Kimpy. Boys, why don't you load him in your jeeps and take him to the sheriff? Are you all right? Yeah, sure. I'm all right. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. What's the matter, Gimpy? My back, my poor back. Uh-oh. There he goes again. Oh. 